Hi, welcome to your Health Code personal profile page for all your events. What we hear from people is they love the simplicity of this page, and I think you'll see why in a second, but you're the one that counts. Let's hit a couple of things right off the bat. This is where you can enter your activity, or if you have a device, you can sync up. But let's talk about the data entry. So you're able to select the activity of your choice. We've kept it simple. So if you're skateboarding and swimming and walking, we've really tried to make it simple for you. You can put in minutes, you can put in miles, and then you hit save and it's gonna to go to your goal. I wanna point out something. It actually will go to your goal once that event starts. But see where you can change dates? You actually cannot put in, it won't save. That's because tomorrow hasn't happened yet. You can go in the past and put what you did on the weekend, but you can't put in what you intend to do tomorrow. Catch what I'm saying? So that's kind of a neat little feature. So it doesn't matter when you start an event during a month, you can go back and enter activity that's been accomplished, and then you can shout it out on social media, which is kind of fun. If you have a device, let's say you have a Fitbit, you can sync that puppy up right there, or maybe you have another device, uh, Apple, etc. Set sync that Apple up to a Strava or Map My Fitness and then connect here. And there's more information right there on the FAQs about that. One of the things you'll see as you interactivity, even not during an event, is going to show up right there because you can use this 24-7. And and we have to say that in some of the activities, it's directional of the miles to minutes. It's based upon some averages that's been provided. It's more of a directional as opposed to something you would like, you know, win the Olympics on. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, there's actually lifetime stats. So if you are using this in other times of, uh, throughout the year, that's cool because you can do that and you can even see how you did in a prior year. What the feature also has on your, on your profile page is edit profile. On edit profile, you can click on that and even change your goal. So uh, some of us like to start off with a fairly modest goal, though for some people, 30 miles a mile a day is a big deal. So put in what's good for you. But then as you get closer to the goal, I click on the edit profile and then I increase it. Kind of feel good about that. <laughs> the other is that you're able to click on here under your organization where you can go to your organization's private leaderboard and you can also upgrade. Let's say you want the cool t-shirt or you want to just support the nonprofit health code. By the way, if you don't see the logo for that event, then you'll need to register. One of the exciting things about this is as you enter activity, it's going to go towards, yes, your personal goal, but to the public leaderboard. So for example, right now, the Million Mile Month hadn't started yet, and so nothing is showing up. But when it kicks in, like in 2019, you're going to see that your activity will go, if you're part of an organization, it'll be aggregated towards that organization. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. And then same thing, it'll go to, even if you're not an organization, what city you live in. So now you can support your local community and even your state. And so that's kind of fun. You may be involved with San Diego, Seattle, and San Francisco all want to get together and challenge one another. That would be kind of cool, right? The three S's on the West Coast. But whatever it is, you can have a lot of fun with uh, looking at the public leaderboards and come for April's Million Mile Month. Remember, when you click on the health code logo up there, this register now turns into the big ticker, which shows all of the activity that everyone has accomplished in pretty much real time, as you had a thousand, a million, and plus. So that all happens because of you. And even if you're now using the device to sync up, but you're part of an organization, you want to come back to this page pretty often because as our friends at the city of Austin have allowed us to see, your organization will have its own private leaderboard. And you want to be able to go and check out that leaderboard, see how you're doing, see how your department, and really support that camaraderie that this is all about. So it's all about you. It's all about your family and friends, wherever they are in the world. So thank you for your participating. Thank you for reaching out to others to have them involved as we all support a healthier, happier, more connected lives and communities.